Welcome back, everybody. Welcome back to the Midnight News channel. It's time for more Super Auto Pets. We're going to dive on in. Let's see. You know, my tier list that we did for the expansion pack number two has made me nostalgic. So let's play some of that. I'm sure it'll be great. Well, a cockroach is very good. We decided that. And we could do a strawberry, hummingbird kind of thing. Pill bug. Certainly. It's also a great choice. All right, let's see here. Let's let's be the metal machines. A little a little bland, but you know what? It's truthful. And I like being truthful, that's for sure. Okay. Let's see what we got going on here. Uh-oh. Oh, we're on super quick. That's no problem. We can we can parse what's happening. We, it was a draw. No problem there. Okay, and you have higher attack now, so that's great. We can do another hummingbird. Maybe a kiwi, but then we'd have to choose somebody to seriously buff. Could it be a pill bug? For now, why not? I mean, that could change in the future. Or stay the same. Who knows for sure. Either way, I th I, there's no way we lose this one, am I right? Let's, let's see how it's going. Alright, we're fighting some pack one uh, players, and that's no problem at all. Why, why'd they have an ant in the back? I'm not sure. I'll be honest. Also, I'm a little scared by the quickness of this. Uh, I, I was used to it being quick when nothing really happened in combat. I mean, right? Pack one and, well, the free pack and pack one. But nowadays, tons of stuff happens. So let's get this guy. Well, he's buffed, which is great. I should have thought about the pill bug placement, but I didn't. But we buffed a bird by a health, so that's pretty cool. A pug buffing somebody. Could be interesting. You'd go first over a hummingbird, so you could buff a hummingbird. Mid combat. I think that's great. Faint, give two strawberry friends 2 1. We could put you in front. Let's think about it. I know I didn't rate the dove highly, but that's alright. Salamander's always pretty good, though. And then we get another pug, which buffs the salamander. There we go. And uh, we, could, we could save a strawberry for maybe a salamander and then have go at 50 50 or. Do something else. Maybe we do this, get rid of the cockroach next turn. That'd be interesting in some people's eyes. Alright, let's see how we're doing. What was I saying? I, I got used to the speed of the uh, the online build. What can I say? Alright, we might lose this one, but they had a really great uh, they had a really great synergy there. Whatever they had. I'm not really sure. Good for them. Okay, well now we can level you and you can do your own turn is it turn four let's see how this goes i know copy i'm not the biggest fan of and that was the start of battle which is great let's get rid of the cockroach thanks for literally everything um we'll take a dove and we'll strawberry you and we can't take another dove right now but if i would wait if i could i would actually we'll get a level up next turn and you can make somebody level two and then we're going to level so who do we want to buff health wise with the pill bug i think the salamander and the the pug needs it a little more just because he's got less health. You know what I'm saying? Also, I like the hat placement on the yak. It doesn't really work out, does it? Can I get a bug report for that one, devs? Please? Thank you. Just kidding. All right, let's see how we're doing out here. Oh, they got a big pig. Some scary stuff. And our, uh, our little bird is dead. Luckily, we trade almost expertly there and then come to a draw. No problem. this loud let me know if the sound is okay because I'm using the new recording program so I tried to balance it but let me know a pelican give a random strawberry friend two one that's fantastic and you're on faint kiwis on sale of course okay let's see here you could well the pug could buff a bird and we don't need another one we could save some gold that way, right? But then we still need a good old pelican or a potential kiwi cell spot. Um, or maybe we... Hmm. Let's get rid of the bird. Get the kiwi, right? We sell it. You have a start of battle, so you should trigger uh, the salamander. That's true. Sounds like a door for some reason. And then I guess we could get rid of the pill bug and totally go for salamander. 
because, you know, we don't really have the other one. So now you'll buff the salamander. You're there. Okay, a little roundabout. And, and the, the dove could buff somebody else. So let's save the strawberry for next turn. Salamander, that's great. Any other? No, we could do a kiwi, but then it gets messy. And then we need more salamander buys. I'm not sure if that's the best strategy, but I like strawberry teams for sure. Oh, look for an opponent, no problem. I will take one opponent, please. Okay. Let's see here. They have a bee in front of an ant. It's a bold strategy. They have a horse, a peacock, and a giraffe. That giraffe peacock might be pretty scary uh, pretty soon, but we got our second victory in five rounds, so that's great. Woodpecker is nice, especially with a toad, but I don't know if it's for us. Let's buff these people some more, and okay, I do like a stork. We could ditch the dove. It's providing 4-2 two to 2, so it's providing 8-4. A stork would summon a tier 2 at the moment, so an 8-4 is probably better. And nobody has a good old start of battle ability between these shop animals, sadly. You know, you got pretty high attack. I'm willing to trade one of those for three health points. And then, because you, you're going to get even higher attack from this guy, higher attack from the dove. Your attack's, Mr. Salamander, your attack's good to go, if you know what I'm saying. Okay. And I got to use the pug because I said it was good. So, just by guilt, the pug is still on the team. Just kidding, it's a great animal. All right, what's happening here? You're fighting, you're dead, you're going to die here. We might not make it out of this one alive. All right. Nice, nice build. Okay, another pelican. I like that. And your start of battle, which is even better. If we saw more hummingbirds, that would be good too. We could cheese a... Yeah, cheese doesn't make that much sense. We could pelican... We could pug a pelican... And then start a battle, he would give something better, but then it doesn't really make sense then. Platypus is a bit of a sell. We could put health on a unit that doesn't make a bunch of sense. Orangutan would buff a dove unless we got rid of it. That's for sure. We could switch the salamander so we'd have more health, but then he gets the attack buffs from, uh, you know, everybody. The leech doesn't really have a part to play here. Okay. Starfish is certainly a good animal. Or we could level our pelican and get a lion, which would be the highest tier animal on the shop or on our team. It's another way to put it. A lion with cheese? No, a lion with a strawberry could be successful. It might be time for the hummingbird to go next turn. I'm not sure. We'll freeze it. There's nothing wrong with freezing it. Okay. And all the pelican buffs have gone to the salamander. Does it work like the poodle, where it goes left to right, so it just buffs the left strawberry person? Or are we succeeding on a 50-50 100% of the time? Because if that's the case, I have some odds makers in Vegas that'd be very interested in, uh, in that. Looking for opponent, by the way. No problem. Metal machines are a rare breed, that's for sure. Okay, let's see who we're fighting here. The wishy-washy pancakes, rockets, same thing. All right, we lost two units to their ant. Some people would say that's not a good trade, and I would agree. Luckily, um, well, I don't really know what's happening. Honey badger's not as powerful as it used to be, so our two worst units wipe them up pretty easily, which is what I like to see. Okay, we can get rid of the hummingbird, sadly, but truthfully. And we could take a dove, I suppose. We could take a puffin. We got two strawberries. No. The lion has better stats, but does it just sit in the back while these two do all the work? Yes. Start a battle. Fantastic. I did that on purpose. And your, your attack's up there, so you got to have this happen. You'll get more attack. I'm not worried about it. We could cucumber a lion. For three gold, it's the best thing we can do right now. You know what I'm saying? Okay, and you and you got to be a left to right animal. So you've been buffing this guy the whole time, which is fine because he's the strongest unit. You want to buff your strongest unit until he's 50-50. Then you probably don't want to buff him that much. 
Write that down. That's a pro tip from a pro tipper. Anyway. All right, they got a turtle. Level one. Okay. Oh, they got a good old... All right, we're going to... Do we win, trade that? We, we win these. We win that. Okay. And the successful lion succeeds again. Incredible. Incredible. Another pug. A pepper for the dove would be interesting, but ultimately not that great. One, two, three. A pug wouldn't put you over until we had another dove. Salamander could get a buff here or there, that's for sure. We could try it. And that buffs Salamander as well, which I remembered wasn't by accident, that's for sure. I, I like stew. It'd be cool if this was a taco or more stew. We'll freeze it and roll. Triceratops looks cute in the hat. Another pelican can be an investment in the future. And another pug. What if we had a pug going on a pug to make level 3? Right? No, it doesn't make any damn sense. I think the stew is the most impactful thing. It hit three of our greatest units, that's for sure. And uh, we're if, if we really don't get another dove soon, we might have to give it up. Uh, I don't know for what. Oh, a shoe bill. Freeze it. No. Okay. Well, well actually, it would have messed with the lion, which I would have been totally okay with. Oh, well. You can't strawberry them all. That's what my grandma used to say. Never made sense until now. God rest her soul. Anyway. Just gotta find a good old opponent. Okay, here we go. Dancing Scouts. Alright, we're not gonna kill this Mosquito, sadly. Luckily, they don't have super high attacks, but they are gonna Hippopotamus up a bit. But our Salamander... What turn is it? Those were pretty low stats, no offense. But we got we got high stats. Am I, uh, am I crazy? It's like turn... It's only turn 10. Having a near 30 unit, it's pretty rare for turn 10, I'd say. Alright, let's put you two on, and you help him out. And hey, give me that shoe bill back. Not exactly, but thanks, I guess. Um, hmm. We could give the lion more health, because that gets stacked. I don't see a problem with that. He'll just be that much healthier for when he has to fight all the monkeys at the back of whoever else we're wiping out. You know what I'm saying? Monkeys, penguins, like to sit in the back. Maybe a rare giraffe. Um, a vulture. So the more health we have in the lion, the better. And that's my monologue for this looking for opponent segment. Alright, here we go. The shy fuddy-duddies. Me too. Okay, a boar's going crazy over here. Luckily, we killed it. And they're going to have a big shark. But we might just take everything out with our salamander if I'm crunching the stats correctly. And I think I am. So I'm happy to have the salamander on the team. Okay, strawberry's still useful because pelican. Pug buffs you, you buff the strawberries. There's that shoe belt, but who do we replace? We've been buffing the lion to kingdom come, aka five health over three turns. Give strawberry friends one, two. Literally. Every strawberry friend can have that. We are a 2 1, but you get pugged. You could, well, you, we could do start a battle. Because you'd be level 3, thanks to these two experience. So you could be gone. Thanks for everything. Let's do a zebra. Okay. Not who needed it, but thanks. Salamander's good to go. Thanks for that. And we're fighting every pack, I guess, even though we're on the regular expansion pack, too. So they're... Oh, oh, yeah, that's a setting. I should really fix that. So we could fight a scorpion, is what I'm trying to say. Which would be, some would say, bad. And I would agree. Let's freeze the shoe bill. See if we get any more zebras or anything useful. A kiwi could be a cell, but it's only 1-2 at this point. And it costs a lot of money for that. Komodo could work, but then the pug could be experienced. Eh, a pug could buff a lion. No, wait, we got the shoe bill. Son of a lion. I knew it was going to happen. I think I spend way too many moments in the shops. Okay, the lion's gone. Thanks for everything. Let's grab this. We've got a level 2 saber tooth tiger cleaning up the back because you know the salamander is going to take everybody else out unless they have a good old uh, whatever it's called. And I guess more attack for the team sounds great. Let's look for opponent. 
Oh, the shoe bill is, or the pelican's still buffing the salamander. What's happening? The pug is being neglected. But luckily, the shoe bill buffs the pug and all strawberry friends, which reminds me, we need a strawberry for our good friend, the saber tooth tiger. I think that'll be a fantastic purchase. Thank you. Let's give it a shot. In the next shop, assuming we, well, we could live or die and still have another shop. So that's good. Okay, a deer is a little scary here. We don't have room for these uh, animals. We still don't have room. We're throwing animals off the side of the damn boat. No problem. Sabretooth, you didn't spawn anything, but you played your part successfully, so I do appreciate it. Another one of these sounds good. An orange sounds pretty cool, too. Then again, I did want a strawberry, so maybe I shouldn't have frozen a food. What are you going to do? Here's what we're going to do. We're going to get more health on our healthiest units and some more health on these uh, other people, a.k.a. animals. Oh, you, you buffed a pug for once in your life, Mr. Pelican. See what you, I see what you're doing. All right, and our Sabertooth's going to have, what, 10 health, 12 attack. So it's not the worst thing in the world once our uh, large salamander clears somebody out. But it's getting up there in turns, so other people are going to have 50, 50s, 40, 40s, and, you know, 47, 47s. It sounds a lot like an airplane, but it's not, I think. I don't know all airplane types, just some. Let's see, we're fighting here with the metal machines. And you could describe an airplane as a metal machine, that's true. So hopefully we don't find any... Uh, who are we fight the rude abs okay okay they're giving us they're uh oh they're, hurt, they're hurting us we're throwing animals we got a spot now though we got a spot we, we killed him and the pug is well that's what you gotta do we're up to eight wins that's pretty not too shabby in my eyes let's i mean we could get another tiger there's no problem there we could popcorn the tiger or the shoe bill but I don't love it because, you know, it brings them out of level one. Usually I'll take it if there's a vulture because more summons or whatever is great. Oh, we shouldn't have. But I think a strawberry, you having more health or randomly getting the pelican buff is good, even though it's not the best thing in the world. But next turn, because there will be another shop, we're going to have more great stuff. But more health from the shoe bell to the tiger is A-OK -okay with me. In my opinion, we can level a pug. It doesn't do too much, but it'll give this guy another experience point. So that'll give him another health, I guess. You know, it's something to look forward to. Sometimes one health makes all the difference. That's what I've always said about fighting in this game. Is it really fighting? I think they're having a playful tussle. I mean, you come back to the shop and all your animals are alive. So it's not like they actually perish to death, right? That's what I like to tell myself anyway. All right, I see melon armor. Doesn't scare me that much due to the fact that we have a uh, high attack. We One health made a huge difference there. We got a 16-16 lizard because he was level two. And he finally spawned something didn't get thrown off the edge of the world. So I really appreciate that. We could make our salamander level two at the, um, at like the last turn. Sure, why not? Okay. We could strawberry pelican, giving him more health, or we could give more health to a few people. Another pelican doesn't interest me. And we'll just buy the health. Okay, at least it didn't hit the 50 health salamander. But that did. Okay, cool. Anyway, um, I mean, if they have a scorpion or something, our saber tooth tiger could still save the day. Let's see how it plays out. And we have another chance if we lose this one, sadly. Let's see. Any second now, game. Any second now. Cool. Cool. Yep. Me too, game. Me too. All right. Here we go. Okay, they got a melon armor and lots of health. That's scary. But we out-survived them. Our saber tooth is dead. We lose this one. That's a classic otter beaver... Mm -hmm. Free to play pack. Wow, I'm impressed. I guess you don't need the strawberry anymore due to the fact that you're 50/50, uh, and that would free up the pelican buffs for somebody else. So take one of these. Am I right? And take one of these. Thanks for hitting the goddamn salamander. You could put a pepper on this guy to guarantee he survives one hit. 
Which does sound a bit appealing, honestly. I'm gonna do it. Sadly. I know we, we were built around strawberries all day long, and we're still gonna buff the pug a bit. But I think a pepper in the final battle is a necessity. Let's see how it plays out. Hopefully they don't have three scorpions in a row to kill all of our uh, crazy, cool units. It's happened before. Yeah, I've ran three scorpions before. Who has it? In a desperate hour of need. Sheesh. Anyway, let's find that good old opponent. Am I right? Okay, they have a large staked bird here. Okay. Okay, the pepper paid out. And then we killed this thing. They got a one-up eagle that's scaring the hell out of me. But we have one health. One health made all the difference. And I don't know how to add or subtract. It's an exact draw. Incredible. I thought we were doomed. It was an exact draw. I guess we're going to need more attack then. Out on the 50. 50. Damn it. Well, you'll give the pug more whatever. And a pug level 3 will turn a level 2 tiger. Now, Stegosaurus is really good, don't get me wrong. But, have you ever considered a level 3 saber tooth tiger with a freaking green pepper? Am I right? Because then they turn into a 24-24, I assume. A tier 1 that they summon. And they could summon a who knows what, right? Could be anything. Cockroach? A beaver? Well, probably not a beaver. I think it pulls from the pack you're playing in. And it's turn 16. A lot of the good winners have filtered out. Now we're facing the eh teams, kind of like ours. No offense to anybody up in these tiers. All right, let's see how we're doing here. Good old proper lizards. Okay, they killed our bird. But our... Okay. What happened to the saber tooth? Why, why did it spawn some? Either way, I think we have a chance at winning this. There we go. Very successful. Very successful run, for sure. Um, I'm not a big fan of the servers uh, acting like this right now, so I think I'm going to call it there. But it's good to get back into Super Auto Pets videos. Leave, please leave a like if you enjoyed it. Leave a dislike if you hated it. Subscribe if you want to see more. And thanks for watching. Thanks for being here. Have a great day. Take care of yourself. And let me know if the sound's okay or if it sounds like crap. Thanks. And see you next time. Okay. Bye.